Given all the buzz around CEO Elon Musk, it's likely there are few people left who aren't familiar with the Tesla Motors brand. A revolutionary producer of battery-powered electric cars, solar panels, and more, this multi-billion dollar company has seen unprecedented expansion in recent years. It's a true manufacturing empire, and it's all supported by a heavily traded stock ticker, constant innovation, and endless media coverage. So, when the time came to create a new manufacturing facility for the Middle and Eastern United States, Tesla had a lot to consider. Though cities in up to eight states were reportedly considered for the endeavor, the company ultimately settled upon a location just outside Austin, Texas. This new facility was first declared to be the Cybertruck plant, but it was soon after announced that the site would also produce the Tesla Semi and two electric car models, the Model 3 and the Model Y. In true Elon Musk fashion, this new Tesla facility will not be just any old factory. Instead, it would be a Gigafactory, a term coined by Musk to describe what he calls the machines that build the machines. In layman's terms, Gigafactories are massive, vertically integrated structures that combine nearly all Tesla resources under one roof. To Musk, there's no point in having a factory that makes lithium-ion batteries in one part of the country and a factory that makes cars in another. For a company focused on green energy, relying on that much travel would be both counterproductive and a waste of time. That's why Musk prefers all of his Gigafactories to do it all, every stage of production, every component, and every last detail in one giant production site. Musk's initial goal for each Gigafactory was for them to be completely energy self-sufficient, feeding off of a combination of solar and wind generators to make their own internal power grid. This hasn't been made a reality quite yet, but Tesla promises that it's still the end game for each factory they build. The first ever Gigafactory was located in Sparks, Nevada, where it still serves as the primary facility behind the Tesla machine. The second was erected a few years later in Buffalo, New York, and a third is currently under construction in Shanghai, China. The Texas Gigafactory has been designated Gigafactory 5, and there is still a forthcoming number 4 planned for somewhere in Europe. Giga Texas, as it's come to be known, sits on a giant 2100-acre piece of land bordering State Highway 130 and Harold Green Road. Construction started in July of 2020, with a concrete foundation for three Gigapress die-casting machines poured in January of 2021. The facility's development remains international news, catching the attention of people from all corners of the internet. Though the site is little more than a skeleton at the time of this recording, it's already been the subject of countless drone videos, each accompanied by a fair bit of conjecture. It's been said that the Gigafactory will aim to bring at least 5,000 jobs to the Austin area when construction is done and the site is fully operational. Tesla aims to have Giga Texas up and running by the end of 2021. Giga Texas will also act as the main factory for manufacturing the Cybertruck and Tesla Semi in North America, and it will also produce Model 3 and Model Y cars for the eastern United States. Unfortunately, the final layout of the new structure is not very easy to make out. Current prints seem to outline several factory switchyards sitting just north of a retention pond. To the west, you can make out the outline of two massive factory foundations, which boast a larger retention pond to the south. And while it's unclear what specific facilities will be included on campus, we can make some assumptions based on past Gigafactory sites. For instance, we can look at Gigafactory 1 in Renault. As of 2019, that site boasted around 5.3 million square feet of production area. However, Musk has remained adamant that there is still plenty of work to be done, and frequently reiterates his plans to make Gigafactory 1 the largest building in the world in terms of footprint. Though Gigafactory 5 won't be quite so grandiose, it's fair to assume that Musk will expand into the surrounding desert as he sees fit. All of the Gigafactories feature plenty of automation truly functioning as the machines that build the machine. This is especially true of the Renault site, which, being the first, has had the most time to grow into itself. From electric motors to lithium-ion battery packs to power wall and power pack energy storage products, nearly everything is created on site. In fact, though the battery cells used by Tesla are technically manufactured by Panasonic, Musk has streamlined that delivery process by simply putting the Panasonic plant inside his own. Moving around the Gigafactory floor are automated forklifts exchanging parts, batteries, and more. These are framed by automated production lines assembling components and moving thousands of pounds with zero effort. Each production line is modular, interchangeable, and fully independent. 
Indeed, some sections of Gigafactory 1 feature 90% automation, while those parts of the process that have far more variables are still largely assembled by human hands. All things considered, it's not hard to see how Gigafactory 5 is already living up to the state motto of everything's bigger in Texas. You can bet that the world will be watching closely to see what happens with this facility in the future. Are you a fan of Tesla? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this.